So here we have Elliot here. This is his first day of training. Um, he has some skill in there. Um, what I want to do is fine tune the skill that he has so far uh, and, and build on top of that, on top of that. So I'm adding different criteria. Uh, for some reason, um, he has the ability to jump as high as he wants. When he greets people uh, being typically a pit bull boxer mix, it's not very, Friendly. Uh, if he was a little poodle, then it'd be so cute. But being that he's going to be, it's going to be roughly about 75, 85 pounds, maybe. So and this is not something we want him to do. Uh, you'll see, I'll be doing a couple different things in this general session here. Um, I'm going to get all excited. I'm going to click when he doesn't jump. When he doesn't jump, that's one. Two is I'm gonna ask him to sit, and as soon as his butt hits the, hits the ground, I'm gonna click. Uh, I'm I'm doing a bunch of different behaviors, but I'm gonna compartmentalize one. So when I work on sits, I'm gonna just work on sits. Then I'm gonna go to the jumping. Then I'm gonna go two stays. So it's, uh, it's so I'm working on like five and five and five, and then five of something else. You know, uh, so uh, the click is designed to be that bridge. Uh, it's the yes. Yes, you did it right in that particular moment in time. So when he, his butt hits the ground or the second he doesn't jump when he normally does, that's what we want to click. Uh, I suggest get the kids involved in all this training. Have them, uh, you know, on a one-on-one -on -one with you to do all this training, just like I'm doing now. You know, uh, you don't have to go through each one. If you want to just do sits or uh, the, the, the stays, uh, uh, I love the fact that you've already have some type of stay in there, some weight. Uh, I think it works great, especially around meal time. We can build off of that. Uh, I like to use a hand signal for the stay or weight here. Um, so, you know, just build it on top of what he already has, strengthening those cues. Uh, you know, and at the same time, I want to get him out there with people. I want to see is he generally scared of people. So. Uh, I would love to eventually make the trips to uh, Home Depot and where people are going to be just so that everybody can feed them a treat here and there. Uh, and it may take its, uh, you know, its first session here, but it may build up to a, a little bit more confident dog. Not that he isn't already, but especially when people are at the door. So we want to make sure um, that we're, we're headed toward a specific goal. Uh, and the loose leash walking, it, it'll come. <laughs> it'll come, definitely. That it's, it's a little wet outside anyway, but uh, we're, we're definitely gonna delve right into that. So here we go. So pay attention. I'm gonna be transitioning into one single behavior to the next. But when I'm working on just like a sit or a sit stay, I'm only working on this. And then I switch to that, but I don't muddy the two yet. So. And I don't like mix the two. All right, come on. So I'm gonna start out with the sit. He already has a sit, we know he does. Sit. Okay, so what happens is when he doesn't sit, I don't fret. It just means you don't get any treat. I'm not gonna beg you to take a treat. Uh, to get him in the mindset of training in these specific moments uh, would be just to try it again. So we'll see, let's see. Sit. Good, and as soon as his butt hits the ground, I toss the tree so he has to physically get up, and then I ask him to sit. And he has that hand signal much better than the actual SIT sit. But he does that anyway, but if you'll see right here, I'm not gonna ask him to SIT here, He's gonna do it on his own. Give him a second. All right, that's fine, because I didn't ask for it. Sit. When it hits the ground, he gets a clip. Good boy. So I waited, he didn't sit, that's fine. Now I'm gonna go into the weights here. But when I rest him the weight, now I'm gonna completely walk all the way around him. I wanna be able to walk all the way around him. Pay attention to the to the uh, hand signal, which is this, basically a stop sign. Sit. Good boy. Wait. Good. So I'm gonna give him a treat just for waiting. 
tree, but notice I'm not clicking. Wait, and I got another tree here. Wait, good, wait. Remember the wait is until I say, okay, good. And I toss the tree so the okay forces him to get up and get the tree in that specific moment. Let's try it again, sit, wait, wait. Good, okay, good boy. I mean, we've been doing this all day, so he's kind of in the game. Sit. Good. Wait. 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 Good boy. Okay. So I want to be able to do just little things like that. I up the criteria now. Since I'm walking around them like that, I want to be able to kind of toss the treat a little bit. But I don't want him to get this treat. This is just add little, little subtle distractions into that weight uh, when people come over to the to the uh, to the house and we want him to wait that may be too much distraction in there uh, I want to practice a lot of these weights right around the door area especially on that carpet side uh, a lot of the weights and stays so you go open the door have him wait even though nobody's at the door you know nobody even has to be at the door have him just into the routine of being in that carpet area sitting and waiting and uh, what I really want him to do at the final uh, the end result would be an actual lay down just lay down and wait because the lay down he's not as uh, uh, on guard he's not I don't want to say on guard but he's not as a, as attentive or he's not as uh, you know a sit they can really spring right back up I mean dogs are very agile anyway but the sit, he's still at ready. That's what I want to say. He, he's going to be less at ready if he's laying down. But uh, that's what at the end I want to do. So, Elliot, good boy. Sit. I drop the tree. Wait. I don't want him getting that tree. I covered it up. Good boy. Sit. Wait. Wait. Wait, good boy, wait, good, okay. So I give him the treat that's already on the floor, but this is just saying, I don't care what's going on in the environment. I don't care what you see, what's flying past you when I ask you to wait, this is what I want. And this is what we're building up, what you already have, but we're just adding different criteria to it. So come on, come on, come on, sit, wait. Good, oh, sit, and see I stand in front of it. The treat's still right there. Sit, good, wait, wait. So what I really want, I want him to look right back at me. I really want to wait, so I'm gonna try to entice him, look. Good, okay, okay. So I really want him to look, not even pay attention to the treat that's on the floor, you know. A bowl of dog food, one single treat, is that even? Hmm, who knows? Who knows in his world? But I'm making it harder for him to wait. So come on. Get the boy, sit. Wait. Wait. Good. Wait. Good job. Okay. Okay. All right, last one. Sit. Good boy. So I marked that sit. I still want to treat the sit. I still want to add some type of reward to that. Wait. Wait. Two pieces now on the floor. Wait. So I stand right in front of it. Sit. Good. Wait. Wait. Good. Wait. Wait. Good boy. Okay. Okay. All right. So I said that was the last one. This one's going to be the last one. All right. Sit. Good boy. Wait. Wait. Good. Wait. 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 Okay, Bubba, okay. So I just, it, it's relatively the same as you doing at the house with the bowl of food. Uh, 
you know, doing weights, doing circles around them, uh, acting crazy. Now, the second part of my weight here, or our weight, would be to do something a little bit with our bodies to add distraction level. So, come here, Bob. Come here. What's up? What are you doing? What are you doing? Good boy. Good. Sit. Good. Good boy. Wait. Wait. Good. So I am clicking this because he's not jumping. I want to click it right before he actually does jump. Wait. 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 Good. Wait. Remember the hand signal, wait, wait. Good. So I'm just adding different distractions to it. Sit. Good. I didn't ask him to, to get up. Remember, the weight always has that release cue. Okay. Okay. All right. Now this part here, to get him all excited, even entice him to jump on us. When he does, I'm going to take those steps into him. But when he doesn't, I want to I want to reward that. I want to mark it and reward. It. So I'm gonna get him really hyper now, really hyper. Smack him. Good. Now when he didn't jump like that. Woo! Good boy. All right, last one. This is it. I'm gonna tap my chest like this. Go. Good job. Here we go. Good. So I'm trying to entice him to jump, but he's in the game to where, oh, if I don't jump, something good happens. Now this is just for me in this instant. You can do it with you, uh, but it takes practice. You have to keep practicing at it because his year old mind is, this is how it is. This is part of life. I jump and that's what's up. But we want to switch that. We want to switch that to where, oh, I don't jump and that's what's up. So. But he has to, uh, the clicker and training like this, it, it definitely helps tip the balance a little more into what's more acceptable. Uh, notice when he did jump, I completely stopped. But my movement actually gets him more excited. My non-movement actually is too boring. So he don't want to be bored. Dogs hate boredom. They want to be excited. So practice. Have fun.